I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and my classes. I am taking special classes for students this summer. You can always join them by sending me an email on the address given here. So you can always join my classes. These we'll call them as Anil Kumar online classes. And to join them, send an email to the address given here. Here is a sample lesson for you. We'll cover parent functions, which is a topic for advanced function students in Ontario, Canada, grade 12, IB students, grade 11. In parent functions, we'll talk about the characteristics of parent functions. Basically, we'll discuss eight kinds of parent functions, discuss about their characteristics. Amongst the characteristics, the major ones are increasing and decreasing interval, end behavior, even or odd symmetry, asymptotes, similarities and differences between these parent functions, modeling concepts. How do we describe a graph algebraically? Or if you are given algebraic equation, how do we sketch the graph? We'll have some practice questions and a test. Now this is going to be one hour long lesson in which we'll talk about all these eight parent functions. The linear function y equals to x, absolute function y equals to absolute value of x, y equals to x squared, the quadratic function, y equals to x cubed, the cubic function, 1 over x is the reciprocal function, parent function for exponential is 2 to the power of x, square root of x, and then sine x. So these are the eight functions which we will discuss in our lesson. Now, when we discuss these functions, I'll have a very standard sheet to work with that really helps you to grasp all the information and help you to make excellent notes. And these notes can help you go back and then recall what we learned. So whenever you study any kind of functions or any new thing, it is very important to systematically document the learnings. Now, as far as the characteristics are concerned, we'll not take up characteristics of even degree polynomial. So parent function is x squared, whose graph you know is a parabola shown here, correct? Now the key parameters which we are going to study for each and every par uh, parent function will be these. We'll look into the key points which will help us sketch the graph. We'll look into the domain, range, symmetry, x-intercepts and zeros. We'll also understand the difference between x-intercepts and zeros. y-intercept, decreasing interval, increasing interval, end behavior, rate of change, when is the function positive and when is the function negative. Right. So these are the characteristics which we are going to study for all eight functions in this hour. Right. So likewise, you can study the other parent function, which is reciprocal. These are just sample notes for you to see and share. Correct. And likewise, we'll do all eight of them. Here are three samples. The third one is for an exponential function. So now you can actually make something like this and prepare your own notes to keep a record of your learning, especially when it is about parent functions. We'll also talk about what is an horizontal asymptote, what are vertical asymptotes, how do we define them, correct? End behavior is kind of very critical to understand when x approaches negative infinity, what happens to the y value? And when x approaches positive infinity, what happens to the y value? Well, after all these learnings, one of the most critical question on this series will be like one shown here. It says sketch the graph for the given characteristics. So we have given you a couple of characteristics here. We're saying it's a polynomial whose domain is all real numbers. It has three zeros. Zeros are at x equals to minus two, zero and two. It is increasing in the interval from minus two to minus one and from one to infinity. It is decreasing in the interval minus infinity to minus two and from minus one to one. It is negative in the interval zero to two, positive in the interval minus infinity to zero, two to infinity, and it passes through a given point. 
So when a function passes through a given point, it is no more a family of that function. It is a specific function which we are talking about. You can now write the equation of this function also. You get the idea. So once you understand all these characteristics, you can actually uh, describe a function, right, one. But if the description is given to you, you can algebraically write the function. That becomes a very difficult question based on this particular chapter. And we'll see, we'll share with you the techniques to do this very easily. So you can always write to me on the email address given and join my classes. That is what I want you to do. Right? If you really want to learn very fast during the summer, get ready for your fall session. Is that clear to you? Most of my students get more than 90% marks, very close to 100%. I don't want to say 100%, but many of them do get 100% marks also, right? But above 90 is very common. Okay, now once we do all this, then what is the whole idea and how do we check whether you have understood or not? For that, we will have at least 50 questions from every chapter, right? This is in addition to the questions in your book, right? For example, if you're following a particular book, there will be about, let's say 20, 30 questions in your book, plus my questions. And then if you're my regular student, I will also share with you uh, past five years of test papers. And those test papers will really uh, put you far ahead of your uh, friends. That's the whole idea, right? So as you can see, these are multiple choice questions in few minutes. You can actually uh, see how much do you understand, right? So some of them may be tricky, but this is mainly for you to review. You can actually pause the video, answer these questions at present also, right? So four of them right there, you must have taken a note of these and then four more, right? So I'd like you to kind of pause the video if you're really willing to. Uh, this is relatively a simple chapter, the parent functions. We're just talking about functions now and soon. We will see the transformation of functions, inverse of a function, and how do we work with combination of functions. That is this chapter all about, correct? Okay, so answer these questions in your time. You can pause and answer these questions. Well, there's one thing for all my students who are watching this video is that you can always send your answers to me on the email address given here, right? So that is the email address. You can send it to me. I can share with you the solutions of these questions, correct? I can even check what you've done and guide you thereafter for free. But these classes are paid classes, right? So we'll have regular classes so that you can actually understand all the techniques and do much, much better. That's the whole idea, right? Another set of four questions are there on your screen. You can pause the video, answer these questions. Well. The time taken for each question should be just one minute, right? That means in 12 minutes, you should be definitely answering these 12 questions, right? That's the whole idea, right? These are multiple choice questions for you. Now, slightly tricky questions, which might take a bit longer. When we talk about sinusoidal function, we know this is a periodic function, correct? So this is a periodic function. That means it repeats. Now, when it comes to be a periodic function, we have to give general rule, correct? So that is very important. How do we provide answer in the form of a general rule? That is what you need to learn. Now, here is a very good question. You need to find the increasing interval for the sinusoidal function. Well, if you can find that, you can also find the decreasing interval, right? So you can find the decreasing interval for sinusoidal function. But the whole idea of placing this question right here is to work with periodic function and provide a general rule, correct? Now, this is your increasing interval, correct? As you can see, and that is your decreasing interval. That is what you have to provide in the form as given here. So you can match the answers. Perfect. Does it make sense to you? If you really want to learn more about this, you can always send an email to me and then join my classes, correct? Now, let's move forward. Some more questions. Now here, we're talking about even function and the odd function. That is another very critical thing. How do we figure out just by looking at the function, whether it is even and odd and answer these questions in few seconds, right? That's where we get to. So normally you might take around, let's say a minute, but now we are going to share with you the techniques of answer these questions in seconds. So that means more than one question will be answered now in a minute. 
and that really helps you to move forward very quickly and perform much, much better than many others. Now, this is very important exercise. The set of four questions now is going to help you. How do we model different situations? Now, given a scenario, you could use any one of these eight parent functions, right? And then get to the algebraic equation to model and solve a real life problem, correct? That's the whole idea. To give you an idea, there are four questions and you only have to figure out that in the given situation, right, you need to use which function. That is the key for you. Is that clear to you? So that is the kind of question here. Have a look and make an attempt. And if you need help, you can always send an email on the address given here. Perfect. Next set of questions again on the modeling. Now the whole curriculum of advanced function is based on modeling. So word problems is the key. How do we solve word problems? That is what we need to learn efficiently and quickly get the accurate results. So that is what you need to learn here. Now, once you do this, uh, understand all this, then we will have some short answer questions for you, right? So these are based on functions and uh, rate of change now. Perfect. So these two questions are based on rate of change. Now, rate of change is introduced to you uh, in this particular course, which is not there in the functions grade 11 course. So that makes it slightly tricky. So it's huge and it really helps to understand calculus. So this becomes foundation for calculus. So it is a must to do this course before you can even take or think about taking calculus. Perfect. So get prepared for calculus and for higher mathematics after doing this course. Correct. So these are a few questions which I actually made multiple choice so that you can quickly understand the whole concepts learned. So these 31 questions and then some more there. Right. So let's say we have 35 questions here. We are again talking about the symmetry, uh, which is a very, very important concept and self inverse functions right so this is also a point which i've seen last 10 years students normally get this type of question wrong so the difficult questions are based on self inverse or the even and odd function uh, property correct then once you have learned this it is a good idea to communicate properly correct so for that we have a set of short answer questions for you have a good look at the screen perfect answer these questions. The very first one, very sim uh, simple. Write two similarities and two differences between the following pair of functions, correct? And see, we have given you simple functions, y equals to x and y equals to sine x. Think about it. Even writing two similarities and two differences sometimes will become very difficult for you. I have seen in test paper that many students are not able to write similarities as well as differences for the set of given questions, right? You say, well, X and sine X are totally different. How are they similar, right? So in this particular case question, it is very difficult to get their similarities. Similarly, if I have a question like this, absolute value of X and X squared, they're very similar. But the question now is, how are they different? So in that case, differences become very critical. So you have to see these parent functions with this respect. Do you get the idea? So likewise, we have more questions. And well, of course, as I was saying, self inverse function and even an odd needs more preparation. And that's why in the short answer set, I have more questions based on it. So once you practice with these questions, you are bound to get more than 90% marks from this particular unit. You get the idea, right? Some more out of it. Now here, we have a couple of questions which have been taken from previous test papers and the idea here is to sketch the graph that has following characteristics. This is one of the most difficult question in any test on parent functions. So basically, you're given all these characteristics. You can actually pause the video now. Sketch the graph as per the description description written here right so try these questions question number four and then five and six for you right i think you can see all uh, three of them on the screen 
So make a good attempt on it. If you get the answer, you can always share it with me. If you have doubts, then also you can send an email to me and then uh, we can see how do we move forward. Perfect. So that's very important. Now, once you send your questions to me, I can always share some solutions. For example, one of those questions there was to find the or to sketch the graph given the characteristics. Now here you can see this solution. You get the idea. So once you have, I'll teach you how quickly and efficiently you can actually get the solution from the given characteristics. Perfect. Now here are a few similarities and differences which we were talking about. And these are some answers for the questions which we all talked about in the beginning. You get the idea, right? So, so the whole thing here is to make you understand that in my YouTube channel, you find something which is really not seen at most of the places, right? What I'm really talking about is what you need to learn, right? Specifically, right on the dot, money for your value. That is what we're talking about, correct? So if you really want to learn from me, you can always send an email and keep watching my videos to learn more. There are more than 20,000 free videos on my YouTube channel, correct? And there are thousands of test papers sold in my YouTube channel. Keep watching and keep learning. Thank you and have a great day. Bye for now.